This program is brought to you locally in part by... What are you looking for? A place to belong? A path to a career? A way to make things better? Do you wonder what opportunity looks like? Explore your answers here at Tennessee Tech. Tennessee Tech, just like our state, is soaring to great heights. As president, I encourage you to learn more about Tennessee Tech. We transform lives every day. Tech is Tennessee. This program brought to you locally in part by Crown Trophy. Welcome to the finals of the WCT High School Academic Bowl. I'm your moderator, Brian O'Connor, a math professor at Tennessee Tech University. Our teams are Gallatin High School and Cookville High School. Gallatin is the winner of our winner's bracket and Cookville is the winner of our second chance bracket in the uh, double elimination tournament. This seems to be becoming an annual tradition because I believe these two teams have met in the finals for the last four years. Should be a good match, let's meet our teams. Hello, I'm Brian Hoover. I coach the academic team at Gallatin High School and I teach in the social studies department. Hi, my name's Daniel. I'm a sophomore in Gallatin High School. I'm part of NJROTC and I like to work out. Hi, my name is Ben. I'm a junior at Gallatin High School. I'm part of the theater department and my favorite band is Starbomb. Hi, I'm Thomas. I'm, I'm a junior from Gallatin High School. I'm a member of the National Honor Society and I enjoy reading. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm a freshman at Gallatin High School. I'm a part of the youth and government and my favorite singer is Bruno Mars. Hi, my name is Molly Risley and I'm the academic team coach at Cookville High School. I teach IB Theory of Knowledge, AP Language, and English too. Hi, my name is Sam Matson. I'm the assistant academic team coach at Cookville High School. I teach English to seniors there and I'm also the varsity soccer coach and I sponsor the GSA. Hello, I'm Maya Rao. I'm a senior at Cookville High School and I'm a Tennessee anti-tobacco ambassador. Hi, I'm Sanjay Chakraborty. I'm a junior at Cookville High School and I'm a fan of Doki Doki Literature Club. My name is Madeline Loveday. I'm a senior at CHS and I'm going to study material science and engineering at UTK in the fall. Hi, I'm Matthew Nicholson. I'm a senior at Cookville High School. I'm on the academic team. I am the editor for our school newspaper and next year I'm going to attend Belmont University. Thank you teams. Let's meet our outstanding match officials. Hi, I'm Christy Keeley. I'm a scorekeeper for the Academic Bowl. I'm a retired school administrator, and I currently work in the Education Department at WCTE. I'm Dr. Paula Hinton. I'm one of the judges, and I'm an Associate Professor of History at Tennessee Tech University. Hi, I'm Bryn Carl Fleshman, Program Director and Morning Show Host for News Talk 107.7 and 1400 The Hub, WHUB, and I am proud to be one of this year's judges for 2018 WCTE's Academic Bowl. Thank you, folks. We can start our match now. Teams, are you ready? Good luck. Here's your first toss-up. In Latin numerical roots, the root semi means how much? Gallatin, Thomas. Half is right. Ten points there. Here is your bonus question. For five points each or 20 for all three, give the nationality for each of the following painters. First, Leonardo da Vinci. Italian. 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 Next, Rembrandt. Uh, Dutch. Dutch is right. And finally, Salvador Dali. Spanish. Spanish. Spanish is right. All three correct. <coughs> 20 points on that bonus. 20 Sorry. points. Here's your next toss of questions. Animals without backbones are known as what? Gallatin, Ben. Invertebrates. Invertebrates, correct. 10 points there. Bonus question coming up. For five points each, identify which of the Bronte sisters wrote each of the following novels. First, Jane Eyre. Charlotte. Charlotte is right. Next, Wuthering Heights. Emily. Emily, correct. Final, or next, Agnes Gray. Jane, Jane, no, Jane, 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 Here's your next toss-up question. During the Vietnam War, who was the leader of North... Gallatin, Daniel. 
Ho Chi Minh. Ho Chi Minh, North Vietnam. Correct, 10 points there. Here's your bonus question. For 10 points each, what river created the, over the eons the deep gorge that is today the Grand Canyon? The Colorado River. Colorado River. Next, what state west of North Dakota does the Missouri River flow through for hundreds of miles? Uh, Montana. Montana is correct. Both parts correct. 20 points on the bonus. Next toss-up. This PBS show ran from 1983 to 2006 and promoted reading skills. Uh, Cookville, Maya. Reading Rainbow. For kids, star LeVar Burton, Reading Rainbow. Correct. 10 points there. Here's your bonus question. For 10 points each, name any two of the five Virginia colleges that are each named for two people. William and Mary and Washington and Lee. That is correct. The others are Randolph Macon, Hampton Sydney, and Emory and Henry. 20 points on that bonus. Next toss up. How many moons does the planet Mars have? Gallatin, Ben. Two. Two is correct. Bonus question. For five points each or 20 for all three, give these terms all containing the term right. First, conservative political group. Uh, right wing. Correct. Next, legal protection for artistic works. Uh, copyright. Copyright. Copyright is right. <laughs> Third, erect in carriage and posture. Uh, upright. Upright, yes, correct. And finally, virtuous or morally justified. Righteous. Righteous. Righteous, Righteous. Righteous correct. 20 points on that bonus question. Here's your next toss up. John French Sloan was a 20th century American artist who was known for painting urban scenes. He was one of the co-founders of a school of style known by a name that might... Cookville, Maya. The Hudson River School. No, I'll continue for Gallatin. School of style known by a name that might Im have implied his work was garbage. What was this name? Ben. Junk art? No, the Ashcan School. No points there. Here's another toss-up. Who wrote the following? The court's next bit of interpretive jiggery-pokery involves other parts of the act that purportedly presuppose the availability of tax credits on both federal and state exchanges. The Supreme Court Justice recently passed away. Gallatin, Ben. Um, Johnson? Time. Can you take it, Cookville? Sanjay? Scalia. Antonin Scalia, correct. Jiggery pokery, correct. 10 points there, here's your bonus question. For five points each, name the first four states to ratify the Constitution and join the Union. Philadelphia? Philadelphia? Delaware, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey. You got Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey. Instead of Massachusetts, it was Georgia. Three correct, 15 points on that bonus. Next toss up. With which ancient religion is the sacred book, the Zend Avesta, associated? Cookville, Sanjay. Zoroastrianism. Zoroastrianism, that is correct, 10 points. Here's your bonus question. For five points each, tell who composed the following operas. First, The Marriage of Figaro. Mozart. Mozart. Mozart is correct. Next, Porgy and Bess. Gershwin. Gershwin. George Gershwin. Next, Hansel and Gretel. Mendelssohn. Mendelssohn. No, Eng Engelbert Humperdick, not the <laughs> pop singer. Somebody else with that name. And finally, Das Rheingold. Oh, 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 okay. Sure? Wagner. Wagner. Richard Wagner, correct. Yeah. 15 points on that bonus, three correct. Here's your next toss up. What is the ability of an organism to maintain a balanced and stable uh, Cookville Maya. Homeostasis. Balanced and stable condition in its body called homeostasis. Correct. 10 points. Bonus question. For 10 points each, first, what is the maximum number of points of intersection of two circles with different radii? Two. Two. Two is correct. Next, what is the surface area in square inches of a cube having an edge of two inches? 24 inches squared. 24 square inches, four on each side, six sides. Correct, 20 points on that bonus. Here's another toss up. According to Carl Sandburg, 
What comes on comes on little cat feet? Gallatin, Ben. Death? No, can you take it, Cookville? Maya. Fog. Fog is right. Ten points. Bonus question. Five points each. Name the country that governs each of the following islands. First, Martinique. France. France is right. Next, Sardinia. Italy. Italy, Italy yes. Next, Iwo Jima. Japan. Japan. And finally, the Falkland Islands. Britain. Great Britain is correct. 20 points on that bonus question. Next toss-up. If the point P has polar coordinates R equals 5 and theta equals 7 pi over 2, what is the distance from P to the origin? Cookville, Sanjay. Five. Five is right. Five distant units away, below. Ten points there. Here's your bonus question. For five points each, name four of the six leading hog producing states in the United States. Four of the six. Um, Tennessee? No. Texas. Texas. Alabama? Texas, Oklahoma, Alabama, Nebraska. <laughs> You got Oklahoma right. The others are Iowa, Illinois, Minnesota, North Carolina, and Indiana. Five points on that bonus. Next toss up. Give the name for the complex of museum buildings in Washington, D.C. Gallatin, Ben. Smithsonian. Uh, I need another word to go with it. The Smith Smithsonian. Smithsonian Museum. Uh, I don't think I can accept that. Or can I? Well, judges, I'll let you decide. Okay, yeah. okay we'll, we'll, we'll take Smithsonian. <laughs> Smithsonian Institution. Correct on there. Ten points for that toss-up question. That gives us the score for the first round at Cookville 155 and Gallatin 120. Come on back for our lightning round. This program is brought to you locally in part by... What are you looking for? A place to belong? A path to a career? A way to make things better? Do you wonder what opportunity looks like? Explore your answers here at Tennessee Tech. Tennessee Tech, just like our state, is soaring to great heights. As president, I encourage you to learn more about Tennessee Tech. We transform lives every day. Tech is Tennessee. Welcome back to the WCT High School Academic Bowl. We have a substitution for Cookville High School to tell you about. I'm Elijah, I'm a senior at Cookville High School, and I'm an IB Diploma candidate. The score at the end of the first round is Cookville 155 to Gallatin 120. This is the finals of our tournament, but Gallatin coming through the winner's bracket has no losses, Cookville has won. If Cookville maintains their lead, we will play again for the championship. If Gallatin comes back and wins, they are the champion. Our lightning round categories are presidents and chemical elements. And Gallatin, you get to choose. Which would you like? We're going to go with presidents. Presidents. All right. Give the middle names of the 10 most recent presidents, not counting the first George Bush, because he overdid it with two middle names. 10 points for each correct answer, and I'll give you the presidents as we go through. Okay. 60 seconds. John Kennedy. Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald. Lyndon Johnson. Bates, Bates. Bates. Richard Nixon. Michael. Gerald Ford. Pass. Jimmy Carter. Franklin. Ronald Reagan. Pass. Bill Clinton. Pass. George Bush, the second one. Walker. Barack Obama. Hussein. Donald Trump. John. Gerald Ford. Robert. Ronald Reagan. Uh, Michael. Bill Clinton. William. You have four correct. Brings you up to 160. You got John Fitzgerald Kennedy and the final three, the ones you missed, Lyndon Baines, 
Johnson, Richard Milhouse Nixon, Gerald Rudolph Ford, Jimmy James Earl Carter, Ronald, Ronald Wilson Reagan, and William Jefferson Clinton. So you come up to 160, and now we come to Cookville with the category chemical elements. Are you ready? There are currently 12 chemical elements that begin with the letter C as do their chemical symbols. Name any 10 of these. I'll take a list from the captain. Carbon, calcium, cadmium, copper, chlorine, cesium, copernicum, cobalt, californium. Chromium. Chromium. You got 10 correct, that would be 100 points, and for getting all 10 correct, you get a 20 point bonus, so that's a total of 120 added points, give you a total of 275. The two that you didn't include were cerium and curium. We have a substitution for Gallatin to tell you about. Hello, my name is Andrew, I'm a freshman at Gallatin High School, and I'm on the soccer team, and I'm just happy to be here. Welcome, welcome. Now we're gonna start our final round. Here's your first toss up, teams, are you ready? In the story of Hansel and Gretel, what was the witch's cottage? Gallatin, Ben. Candy. That's correct. 10 points there. Here's your bonus question. Two parts for 10 points each. First, who was responsible for the publication of the Pennsylvania Gazette? The answer? Uh, Franklin? Benjamin Franklin is correct. Next, into what magazine did this publication evolve? Answer? Um, poor Richard's Almanac? No, the Saturday Evening Post. Ten points on that bonus question. Here's your next toss up. This Native American leader and his Apache warriors raided communities in New Mexico and Arizona until his surrender in. Uh, Gallatin, Ben. Geronimo? Geronimo, his surrender in 1886. Correct. Ten points there. Here is your bonus question. For ten points each, answer these questions about botany. First, what is the name for a plant produced by crossbreeding? Hybrid. Hybrid is right. Next, what is the name for a plant renewing itself year after year? Annual? No, perennial. Ten points on that bonus question. Next toss up. The potential difference between two points in an electric field is measured in what SI units? Cookville, Sanjay. Amperes. No, can you take it, Gallatin? Thomas. Ohms. No, it's volts. No points there. Here's another toss up. Rhododendrons have leathery evergreen leaves that help distinguish them from the deciduous plant, Azaka. Spell rhododendron. Cookville, Sanjay. R H O D O D E N D R O N. That is correct for 10 points. Here's your bonus question. First part. What American military leader is responsible for the phrase, damn the torpedoes, full speed ahead? Answer? Arnold. No, it was Admiral David Farragut. And next, who made this quote? I propose to fight it out on this line if it takes all summer. Maginot. No, it was Ulysses S. Grant. No points there. Next toss up. Who was the 1876 presidential candidate who won the popular vote but lost the election? Cookville, Sanjay. Tilden. Samuel Tilden, correct. 10 points there. Here's your bonus question. List the following numbers in order from smallest to largest. Pi, the square root of five, four sevenths, 
e and five ninths. Five ninths, four sevenths, the square root of five, e pi. That is exactly right for 20 points. Very good. Next toss up. Give the World War II nickname for General George Patton. Cookville, Sanjay. No answer. Can you take it, Gallatin? Ben. Uh, the tank general? No, it was old blood and guts. <laughs> no points there. Here's another toss up. What term applies to solutes which exist as ions in water, giving uh, Gallatin, Ben? Electrolytes. Electrolytes is correct, giving solutions that conduct electricity and including all ionic solids such as sodium chloride. Ten points there. Here's your bonus question. In 410 AD, a barbarian army sacked the city of Rome for three days, marking the first time in 800 years that a foreign army had entered the city. For 10 points each, name the tribe and their leader. The Visigoths and William Manchester. Visigoths is correct. Alaric was the leader. 10 points on that bonus. Next toss-up. Named the longtime host of the PBS cooking show, The French Chef, who always ended. Martha the, Stewart? No, I will continue. I won't continue. Julia Child. Julia Child. I really wanted to say, bon appetit. <laughs> that is correct. Ten points on that bonus question. Julia Child. Reset. Here's your bonus question. Three royal houses lost their thrones in World War I. I will name the countries, and for five points each or 20 for all three, you name the houses. First, Russia. Romanovs. Romanov, correct. Second, Austria-Hungary. Answer. Habsburgs. Habsburgs is right. And finally, Germany. Uh, uh, Prussia. No, Hohenzollern. 10 points on that bonus question. Next toss up. If you hear two vowel sounds pronounced together, Cookville, Sanjay. Diphthong. Diphthong, like oil, prey, or music, that is called a diphthong. Correct. 10 points there. Bonus for 10 points each, what American literary figure made these statements? First, if a man does not keep pace with his companions, perhaps it is because he hears a different drummer. Emerson? No, that was Henry David Thoreau. Next, nothing so needs reforming as other people's habits. Emerson. No, that was Mark Twain. <laughs> no points on the bonus. Next toss up. Name the elite U.S. Navy group that carries out uh, Gallatin Daniel. Navy SEALs. The Navy SEALs, missions underwater, on beaches, and into the harbors of enemy territories. 10 points there. Here's your bonus question. At Manly Mall, Brandon bought a suit which was on sale for one-third off the original price of $144. At Stud Shack, Travis bought an identical suit which was on sale for one-fourth off the original price of $120. Who paid less for his suit and by how much? Uh, I forget the names, but the second guy paid uh, $16 less. No, Travis paid $6 less than Brandon. So, well, let's see. The second guy is Travis. He did pay less. So that is, ooh. no, I, I think that's an all or nothing bonus. That's an all or nothing bonus. So no points on that bonus. Uh, reset. Next toss-up. Name the British writer and poet who wrote the poem Road to Mandalay and the novel Kim, among many others. Cookville, Eddie. Roger Kipling. Kipling is right. Ten points there. Here's your bonus question. For ten points each, name the Shakespeare play these lines come from. First, what's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet, right. That's the end of our match. 
and Cookville is the winner. We will have another match to determine the champion of our tournament this year. This program is brought to you locally in part by. What are you looking for? A place to belong? A path to a career? A way to make things better? Do you wonder what opportunity looks like? Explore your answers here at Tennessee Tech. Tennessee Tech just like our state is soaring to great heights. As president, I encourage you to learn more about Tennessee Tech. We transform lives every day. Tech is Tennessee. This program was made possible by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you.